Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you what you can do after deploying a chatbot onto Optator and how you can add multiple services onto Docker Compose so that you can use it with your chatbot, let's say customer care chatbot which you used previously, or your own chatbot. So let's have a look at it. So if I zoom in right here, you will be able to see that there is customer care chatbot deployed but if you have a look at the rasa server there i have used 5006 as a port number let me show you on my code snippet right here for docker compose so in, in the rasa server you will be able to see that we are currently using 5006 and not 5005 and there is a section as public true so this both things are needed since in octeto 5005 has been used as java debugger server so we can't use it so what i have done here is the current 5005 will be used as 5006 port so this way what it will do is it will redirect from 5005 to 5006 and it is currently working and one more thing i would like to add on is many of them asked on how to add a new service like for duckling as i mentioned in the previous video so there is not much of the thing you have to do i'll right away show it in this particular video name it as duckling server and there use the image provided by rasa slash duckling and in the colon add latest just like this just after the adding the image we have to open ports which is 8000 just like this and also make sure to check which all ports are available in Octator docs so right inside the Octator docs there is a mention about what all ports we shouldn't use as a public because they are been used for different kind of services like mysql oracle postgres then there is also one more section which is for java debugger there you can see uh, for 5005 it has been used for java debugger which we can't use for rasa so just like that you shouldn't use this all ports link is in the description below so now let's go to our code right here you will be able to see we have added the port and the duckling server has been initialized so after that go inside the config there you will be able to see we have used duckling entity extractor right here so instead of using localhost we'll be using duckling server as a name for using the service let's name it as https so just like this we will be able to use our duckling server on our rasa bot getting back to the docker compose so one more thing that i saw in octeto is you won't be able to use this kind of naming because it automatically translates it to this if you are going to use underscore naming convention for any directory please don't use it i have already added an issue on on their github that this is the current issue with the naming convention it translates it to uh, dash one just like this if you just and now once it has been deployed what you have to do it's just a simple thing that you have to do is for using your rasa server so if i copy it from here and then if i go to my github where my website is there inside the index.html and edit it right here this has been commented so this has been done purposely so if you look at the socket url right here you can definitely change it to your own rasa server url just like this and you don't need any kind of slash webhook or or adding the port because if you're familiar with my video on website integration we'll definitely be able to get this how this works so right here once you are done add the committed changes and then if you have a look at the website it will be working as you want to all right so if you're using the url for let's say facebook or instagram or whatsapp or any other place for rest also if you count them there you have to use it like this so right here you will be able to see how what you have to add after your url so make sure to add it so that you could use it properly in your 
integration and this way you can use octeto cloud deployment service for your different requirements or a different projects as you want to build so this was the video explaining what else you can do after deploying your rasa chatbot onto octeto so if you have any doubts any questions make sure to add them in the comment section give this video a like make sure to subscribe on the red button below right see ya ciao